Time having arrived, Monday, January 27, 2014. Please stand and salute the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. 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 Thank Mr. President. Yes, sir. Mr. President, at this time I'd like to take items one, two, and three collectively and suspend the rules this evening and act upon them. Second. Second. Motions were made. Properly seconded to take uh, numbers one, two, three on the agenda collectively and under suspension of the rules. All in favor? All opposed? It carries. Mr. The Clerk, one through three, please. The appointment of Nicholas J. Tropiano to the rank of Fire Lieutenant, Brockton Fire Department. Uh, the appointment of Jeffrey uh, Virtunis to the rank of Fire Captain, Brockton Police uh, Fire Department. Scott Albanese to the rank of Deputy Fire Chief in the Brockton Fire Department. Question is on adoption by a roll call vote for the uh, confirmations of the appointments. Madam Clerk, uh, Mr. Clerk. Amen. Yes. <coughs> yes. 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 Monahan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Eleven in the affirmative. And uh, the uh, promotions uh, hereby adopted. The three gentlemen could please come forward to the podium and just uh, state your name for the record and kind of put a, a name with a face. Yeah. Hi, counselors. I'm Scott Albanese. Thank you for your vote. I appreciate it. Thank you, Deputy. Jeffrey Svetunas. Thank you, Thank Captain. You. Nick Tropiano. Thank you, Lieutenant. Mr. President, if I might, I'd like to move for suspension of the rules. Uh, suspension, excuse me. I'd like to move for reconsideration. Hopes it does not Second. prevail. Second. Motion is made properly. Second for reconsideration. Hopes it does not prevail. All in favor of reconsideration. All opposed. Reconsideration fails. Gentlemen, congratulations. <laughs> We're going to take a one minute recess. Like a 65 year old Asian? 71. Counselors, we're back in the session. Mr. Clerk, if you could please read agenda item number four. We have the appointment of Michael Azak as a special police officer, 
City of Brockton for a one-year you know term ending 2015. Court of Finance. Appointment of Julie Mr. Mr. President, I make a motion that we take items uh, 4 through uh, uh, 13 wow. to be read collectively. Uh, 12. 12. 12. Numbers 4 through 12, a motion to be made to take them collectively. All in favor? Uh -huh. All opposed? Mr. Clerk, you did number 4. Number 5 through 12, please. The following are appointments as a special police officer in the City of Brockton for one year term ending January 2015. We'll start with Michael Azak, Julie Maestral, Brett Baker, Daniel Vaughan, Kevin Smith, Thomas A. DeChillis, Janet Frizzell Hancock, Theodore Hancock, and Jason Mosley. Those are all referred to finance. <coughs> we have the appointment of John O'Donnell, City Rock Meadow Drive, Brockton, to the position of Member Board of Assessors, City of Brockton, for a term of three years, expiring January 2017. Councilors, Mr. O'Donnell is here tonight, um, <coughs> but I did explain to him it's going to be referred to finance. It is referred to finance to next Monday, but I just wanted to state he is in the chamber tonight. We'll see you next week, Mr. O'Donnell. Mr. President. I will have questions, so will Mr. O'Donnell be here, or is it just tonight? Oh, he'll, he'll be, be here next week. Great. Thank you yes. so much. The report of the Finance Committee for its meeting of January 21, 2014. That's accepted and placed on file. We have a communication from the police chief requesting authorization to expend grant monies related to the Executive Office of Public Safety and Security, Fiscal 14, Senator Charles E. Shannon Community Safety Initiative Grant, in the amount of $450,000. Accepted and placed on file. A communication from the mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the police chief requests an authorization to expend grant money related to the executive office, <coughs> public safety and security, highway <coughs> safety division, fiscal 2014 <coughs> traffic enforcement grant. That's also accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the police chief request an authorization to expend grant money related to the Executive Office of Public Safety and Security, Highway Safety Division, Fiscal 2014 Sustained Enforcement Grant Program. Mr. Mr. President, on file. I, I have a question uh, as far as the form. If, if there is no police chief right now in office since the police chief resigned as of the 31st, how can these appropriations be made if there is no police chief? Councilor, there is, as of today, there is a police chief in effect until uh, closed business on Friday. Uh, these are just uh, communications that are accepted placed on So file. from today to Friday, we have an interim police chief? From, from today until Friday, we have an interim police chief. Is that what you're saying? Chief the police chief, uh, Manny Gomes, Manny Gomes uh, is until this coming Friday the police chief for the Brockton Police Department. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you, Councilor. Okay. Communication from the mayor recommending the same. Accepted placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted placed on file. Communication from the mayor in accordance with Mass General Laws, Chapter 44, recommending that the City Council approve the ordinance which would amend Article 19 of the revised <coughs> ordinances of the City of Brockton. The purpose of this ordinance amendment is to provide additional means of administering management flexibility for the police department through a civilian department head in lieu of the chief, should the position of chief become vacant. The intent of this ordinance also is to accomplish this with appropriate city council involvement through approval of this appointment and by limiting any term to one year unless there were a subsequent reappointment and council approval. That communication is accepted and placed on file. Okay, should from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. We have an appropriation of $2,000, Mass Department of Environmental <laughs> Protection, Sustainable Materials <coughs> Recovery Program, Municipal Grant, to Refuge Department Recycling Containers Grant Fund. End Council, January 13, 2014. Refer to Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Councilors, the question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, if you could please read the roll. Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. 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 Stewart. Yes. Zedinsky. Yes. 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 The order is hereby adopted, <coughs> councils.
an appropriation of $14,404 from the Commonwealth of Mass Department of Public Safety, fiscal 2014, Student Awareness of Fire Education Grant, the Brockton Fire Department, fiscal 14, Student Awareness of Fire Education Grant Fund, $10,786, and from the Commonwealth of Mass Department of Safety, the Senior Awareness Fire Education Grant, the Brockton Fire Department, fiscal 14, Senior Awareness of Fire Education Grant Fund, $3,000. $618. This is a non matching grant with no cost to the city. Constance, the question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Would Mr. Clerk, if you could please read the roll? Asak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Dubois. Yes. Ionieri. Yes. Monahan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Fedinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Eleven in the affirmative. The order is hereby adopted. Transfer totaling six. $608,223 from Mass Executive Office of Public Safety and Security Community Policing Grant to City of Brockton Police Department, Fiscal 14 Community Policing Grant, in Council, January 13, 2014, referred to Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Councilors, the question is before us is adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, if you could please read the roll. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. 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 Napoli. Yes. Dubois. Yes. Ionieri. Yes. <coughs> yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Eleven in the affirmative. The order is hereby adopted. <coughs> Transfer totaling $155,400 from police full-time $133,000, shift differential $9,400, week in $13,000 to police overtime. In council January 13, 2014, referred to the Committee on Finance. That report is favored. <coughs> this is a question before us is on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, if you could please read the roll. Azar. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Dubois. Yes. Ionieri. Yes. Monahan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. <laughs> Eleven in the affirmative. The order is hereby adopted. <coughs> Appropriation of $109,982.65 from the Executive Office of Elder Affairs, Fiscal 2014 Formula Grant to Council on Aging Elder Affairs Grant Fund. This grant is to be used for salaries including overtime, energy department, equipment and repairing, printing, office supplies and registrations, memberships and subscriptions. And Council January 13, 2014. Committee on Finance report is favorable. Questions on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, if you could please read the roll. Yes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. 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 Ionieri. Yes. Monahan. Yep. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. <coughs> yes. Sullivan. Yes. Eleven in the affirmative. The order is hereby adopted. An appropriation of eleven thousand dollars from city lots to building and grounds. In Council, January 13, 2014, referred to the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Council's question is on adoption by a roll call vote. If the clerk could please read the roll. Azar. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Dubois. Yes. Ionieri. Yes. Martin. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. In the, the order is hereby adopted. Transfer of $4,860 from city lots to building and grounds. In Council, January 13, 2014, referred to the Committee on Finance. Our report is favorable. Questions on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, if you could please read the roll. Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Dubois. Yes. Ionieri. Yes. <coughs> yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Sedensky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Eleven in the affirmative. The order is hereby adopted. Transfer of $20,295. Council Stadinsky. If I might, I'd make a motion at this time to move this particular item, number 33, to the next finance meeting. Second. Second. Council, you want to send it back to finance? Correct. Motion is made to send it back to finance to the next finance meeting. It's been properly seconded. All in favor of sending it back to finance? Yes. All opposed? The matter will be sent back to finance. The next finance meeting. Thank you, Councilor. <coughs> Transfer of $3,950 from City Garage to Building and Grounds to fund the repairs of the lighting at the Adams Garage and Council January 13, 2014. Refer to the Committee on Finance. Report is favorable. Council, the question, Council, the question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, if you could please read the roll. Azar. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Dubois. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. Monahan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. 
The order is hereby adopted. Council Cruz. Uh, Mr. President, items 35 through 39 are minor housekeeping items. We make a motion to take them collectively. Second. Motion's been made. Uh, Mr. Properly seconded. Mr. President, on the motion? On the motion, Council. Uh, so, number 35, Mr. President, is there a way for me to get the full reading of this, of the, of the item here? Council, would you say full reading? Yes, please. Rule of regulation governing motor vehicles for higher. In Council, January 13, 2014, ordered that in accordance with Chapter 159A of the General Laws, the following rules and regulations are hereby adopted to govern motor vehicles operated for the carriage of passengers for hire. Rule 1, all applications for licenses to operate a motor vehicle or motor vehicle for the carrying of passengers for hire in the City of Brockton must state number of vehicles, mass registrations, carrying capacity of each, proposed route of travel, schedule of trip, schedule of fares. Rule number two, no licensee shall make any changes in the operating schedule proposed in his application for license without the consent of the <coughs> City Council. Rule number three, no licensee shall make any change in the schedule of fares mentioned in his application without the consent of the City Council. Rule number four, all vehicles used under the provision of the license issued shall be kept in a condition satisfactory to any designated representative of the City Council. Rule number five, the fee for such license shall be $10 for each vehicle. Rule number six, vehicles licensed under the aforesaid chapter 159A of the general laws shall have such stands as must be assigned to them by the City Council on the granting of their license to operate. Mr. Clark, thank you for reading that. Council, is a motion on the floor properly seconded to take numbers 35, which was just read nicely by the clerk, through 39 collectively. All in favor of taking them collectively? All opposed. Mr. Clerk, if you could read 36 through 39, please. The following, <coughs> the following orders have been uh, heard in Council January 13th and referred to finance with a favorable recommendation. Assessors to act as agents of the City Council in matters of apportionment or betterments. Clerk, to give notice of hearings before the Council. Regulations governing the operation of hawkers and peddlers within the city of Brockton. In order that the pawnbrokers are to deliver a list of purchased or pawned articles to the chief of police. Councilors, these questions 35 through 39 are before us. Adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, if you could please read the roll. Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Sinapoli. Yes. Dubois. Yes. Pioneering. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. 11. These collective orders are hereby adopted. An ordinance amending Article 19 of the Revised Ordinances of the City of Brockton be ordained by the City Council of the City of Brockton as follows. Chapter 19, Police Department. Uh, that's going to be referred to ordinance. Uh, Mr. Leonary, Chair of the Ordinance. Thank you, Mr. President. And while we're on this particular item, there will be an ordinance meeting a week from this Tuesday evening, which will be February the 4th. 2014, 6 p.m. right here in the council chambers. That's a week from Tuesday, February 4th, 2014, 6 p.m. I invite all my uh, other councillors, and of course the councillors that know this sit on the ordinance committee, I expect that they be present because this will be, a, uh, I, I think, a lengthy meeting for discussion. Thank you. Mr. Thank you, Mr. President. Chair. Council Dubois. May I also request that this get um, sent as well to public safety? Councillor, uh, point of information, it has to go to one committee at a time. So since it's an ordinance matter, it's going to go to ordinance can at this time. So back, just because it's it an ordinance. Back, it could come back and then go back to public safety at that time if you make that motion. All right. The so only ones that go to ordinance and, and, and planning are zoning changes. All right. I just thought we've, we had referred ordinances to multiple um, committees in the past. Legal counsel? No. All right. Go to one committee. committee okay. Reports, and can go to okay. Thank you, counsel. Thank you. We brought him back, but we did. Number 41, please. An appropriation of $450,000 from the Executive <coughs> Office of Public Safety and Security Fiscal 2014 Shannon Community Safety Initiative Grant to the City of Brockton Police Department. That's referred to finance, councillors. Appropriation of $12,000 from the Mass Executive Office of Public Safety and Security Highway Safety Division. Fiscal 2014 Traffic Enforcement Grant to the City of Brockton Police Department 
uh, fiscal 14 traffic enforcement grant fund. For the finance. An appropriation of $51,400 for the Mass Executive Office of Public Safety and Security, Highway Safety Division, fiscal 2014 sustained enforcement step grant to the City of Brockton Police Department, Fiscal 14 Traffic Enforcement Grant Fund. That's referred to finance. Resolved that the Executive Director of the Board of Health be invited to appear before a committee of this council to discuss possible regulations relative to frying oil management and disposal systems and restaurant operations management technology that would protect the public from a spill such as was recently discussed by the council and that would increase employee safety. Council Azak. Thank you. Um, the reason I was concerned about this and wanted to put it on the agenda is that I'd like to see how the Board of Health is dealing with the, um, with the oil and how they store it and the different regulations. So I'm um, concerned that this doesn't happen again and cost the city more money. So I look forward to discussing it. Thank you, Councilor. That's referred to finance. Oh. Need to be Resolved that the new ownership of the Brockton Rocks be invited to appear before a committee of this council to discuss the plans to revitalize the ballpark and the baseball team. Council Bond. Yes, thank you, uh, Mr. President. I uh, filed this resolve because, uh, as you all know, as citizens of Brockton, the Brockton Rocks, they've had some challenges over the years. And um, with the new administration, new front office, Mr. Chris English, they want to make sure that they reintroduce themselves in a positive way to the community. And they would like to, um, I would like for them to come and just uh, lay out all of the things they've been doing with renovations, all the changes that they have in, for the upcoming year, uh, what their plans are in order to reinvigorate the, um, the, the stadium um, and the, the conference center there so that um, we can just bring more light to it and get citizens back into the boys of summer. Great. Thank you, Councillor. That's you. referred to finance. Resolved that the representatives from the Coalition of Social Justice, the Green Justice Coalition, and the local utility companies come before the Finance Committee to discuss and outline the protocols, purpose, and desired goals associated with proposed energy initiatives and opportunities within the Commonwealth to discuss the viability of increased residential, small businesses, and municipal energy efficiency programs, <coughs> outreach at the City of Brockton, and to report sufficient program data to allow for assessments of the program's effectiveness and to grant municipal officials access to detailed program <coughs> data filed by Councilor Sullivan. Councilor, this is my resolve. I'm going to refer it to finance, but it's going to be the second finance in February, which will be Tuesday, because Monday's a holiday, February 18th. Mr. President, Pastor Dubois. at this time I, I have two time-sensitive late files I would like um, to present. Thank you, Councilor. So I'm asking for someone to second. 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 Motions were made, properly seconded uh, to take uh, two late files offered by Councilor Dubois. All in favor? All opposed, it carries. Thank Mr. you. Clerk. Resolved that Mayor Carpenter be invited to appear before the next Finance Committee meeting 2-3-2014 to enumerate the number and staff positions that are currently in need of reappointment and discuss his plans for reappointing each staff position that it currently overdue for reappointment, including but not limited to the positions of Building Commissioner, DPW Commissioner, and Treasurer Collector. Refer to Finance Councils. Second resolved that the Mayor Carpenter, Captain Gomes, a representative of the Police Supervisors Union, be invited to the next Finance Committee meeting, which is February 3, 2014, to discuss the plan for transition and the position and the department. Further, please submit the letter of agreement that was brokered between the Mayor, Police Supervisors Union, and Mr. Gomes to the City Clerk's Office. That also is referred to finance. Councilors, I have a late file that uh, Mr. Conan, the CFO, he came here uh, last week. He had said that he wanted to do a substitute order relative to the solicitors. It was Scrivener's errors. The 20000 should have been 35000 The part-time should have been a full-time. He called me uh, and asked me if he could do that. I said, out of professional courtesy, we would, which goes hand-in-hand uh, -hand with what Councilor Tedinsky tonight. So, Mr. Clerk, make a motion no, I'm that. making the motion. If it's properly make seconded. A, you can't make a motion. Make the motion. Get up, so moved. Down. Second. <laughs> Motions are made. Properly Switch. second. All in favor, except in the late file. All opposed, late file. Mr. Clerk, if you could read it, please. Communication from personnel director verifying that based on review of the current personnel department, personnel employee benefits, unemployment compensation appropriation has a surplus of $15,000 in addition to the $50,000. 
accept and place on file. Accept and place on file. Communication from the mayor recommending the same. Accept and place on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accept and place on file. We have an order of transfer of $35,295 from the personnel department, personal employee benefits, unemployment insurance, to law department, personal services other than overtime, in order to provide funding for an additional position of full-time city solicitor. Refer to finance. Councils, anything else before us this evening? Mr. President. Councilor Monty and Wood, too. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, <laughs> uh, he loves saying that. Uh, there will be a tax abatement workshop tomorrow night from 5.30 to 7.30 at the uh, main library. Thank you. Thank you, Councilor. Who's hosting that? Sorry, Councilor. I'm sorry. <laughs> Councilors, on a, on a, on a four, serious four. note, uh, the city of Brockton recently lost a good friend, Jose Suleiman. President of WBC World Boxing Council passed away after surgery in Los Angeles. Uh, he was uh, laid to rest in his home country of Mexico. But as you know, Mr. Suleiman was the driving force to bring the beautiful Rocky Marciano statue here to the City of Champions. It's located, of course, at Brockton High School. So out of respect for him and his family and what he did, long lasting for the citizens and residents of the City of Brockton, I'd ask we do a quick moment of silence. May he rest in peace. Thank you very much, Councillors. Anything else, Councillors? I thought Councillor Petty brought that to the city. <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> <laughs> right. Councillors, I wish you uh, a good evening. Sausages. Meetings hereby adjourned.